my beautiful Aquarius friends how are you welcome back to sacred knowledge tarot I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today so thank you everyone and those of you that are brand new to my channel hello and welcome my friends my name is Ria and I do these readings every week now Aquarius I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Aquarius, let's pull some cards here and see what Spirit Guides would like you to know for the month of January. All right, we've got the Devil card. So this is a major arcana card. This energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly. I don't want you to be afraid of this card. This is letting you know that there are a lot of distractions around you right now, especially in the month of January. So those of you that are actually wanting to shift your life or you're in the process or in the midst of shifting your life, you got yourself in this new routine. You're really trying to make this year the best year yet. The month of December is letting you know that you have a lot of distractions, things that are going to try to seduce you, to tempt you. You want to be aware and mindful of what or who the devil in your life is right now. All right. So the devil card to start. And next we are getting the queen of wands. This is where you take a look at where you're putting your energy. It's going to be very important that you only distribute that energy, your energy, towards all the areas of your life that you're wanting to see growth in. It's all about protecting your boundaries as well, Aquarius. Now, what I want you to do here is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Queen of Wands. Ooh, look at this, the King of Wands. So masculine, feminine energy working together. And I feel that if you have a really good balance of this, you're really going to see a, a lot of results, a lot of growth in your life, Aquarius. So being open and receptive, but also focusing and getting the job done. This is going to be very important because the King is a very hard worker. OK, and I feel you're going to see the success that you're looking for, for the growth that you're looking for, if you are able to discipline yourself. All right. So before I start your reading, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So I feel there's this beautiful energy. There is so much growth, so much abundance coming your way here, Aquarius. And this is this year is going to be the proof of that for you. It's a power year, right? In numerology, we are entering the year number eight. And this is the beginning of that beautiful abundance and blessings that are coming into your life here that you, Aquarius, are going to create for yourself. So I want you to own that power within you. You are a force to be reckoned with. Know that. Now, the devil being present here, perhaps you have something around you, someone in your life, things that you're doing that you know aren't good for you. And perhaps you made a, a New Year's resolution that entering January, you're going to make a point to actually release yourself from this energy. Now, whenever we do that, sometimes the devil can get the best of us. And I'm experiencing this, even though we're not into January just yet. I feel that and I can't believe January is already here. Oh, my goodness. It's crazy how quickly 2023 has just gone by. I'm just just in awe of it. Um, the devil is is this alluring, this like tempting, seducing energy that wants to pull you in. 
it feels good in the moment, but long term, it's it's not good for you. So I want you to recognize what this is. And whenever you catch yourself being lured in by this energy, I want you to stop yourself. And I want you to refocus somewhere else towards something that you're trying to achieve this year. This is kind of like, I, I call this the lazy spell for me, the, la the case of the lazy. So, you know, I'm trying to keep myself in this uh, routine where I'm getting up early, I'm wanting to hit the gym and the the uh, temptation is the warm snuggly bed it's cold outside and it's just so perfect and amazing but it gets you behind if you stay in there too long right so I always find that if I get up late everything kind of runs behind and that's where I experience most of the hurdles the challenges throughout my day is if I go off routine so you'll have to share with me here uh, Aquarius what it is for you but whatever this devil energy is it's now time to release yourself from it or learn how to manage it better okay this is going to be very important for you especially those of you that are really making a point to actually achieve something this year to accomplish something to really rise up in a frequency and vibration here it's going to be very important for you to pinpoint what the devil in your life is and don't ever be afraid of it it's all about learning how to pinpoint it and knowing like okay you're the devil so now that I know that and I've labeled you as a devil this is what I do in my own life I'm kind of like okay I'm gonna steer clear from you because I know you're going to try to tempt me this could be people too there might be people that are keeping you in a space or creating fear because the other thing I'm picking up is fear so what is it that you're scared of here Aquarius some of you you can comment in the comment section below. I want you to turn your fears into your greatest strengths this year. So if there is anything that you're afraid of, maybe it's not knowing enough of something, wanting to do something but not knowing enough and there's like fear around that to enter this new uh, place in your life. Um, learning is going to be big for you here through, through this, like turning your fears into your big, biggest strengths this year, okay? And I really feel that you're going to see a lot of growth in your life, not only in yourself, but externally as well. Um, you know, whenever we release the devil energy, it, it shifts everything in our life. It shifts the people that we spend the most of our time with because perhaps this devil energy is attached to people around you, right? Maybe you're somebody that's decided that I'm gonna work on my health, I'm gonna release alcohol, but if I hang out with this friend, we always meet at a bar and, that's the only way that these people come out or these friends come out. So I'm going to have to limit what I, I uh, drink and in order to stay disciplined, maybe you have to keep yourself out of that environment completely. So you may see a shift in your, you will see a shift in your life here, Aquarius. So I'm just letting you know that. Don't let that scare you. I, I feel that you're going to start seeing what actually belongs in your life and what doesn't, okay, as far as relationships as well. Now, these are such a beautiful complementing energies here for you, Aquarius. I feel that spirit guides are really working in your favor. They always are, but there's almost like, it's like you're setting things in motion here. You have instigated this change in your life and you're starting to see the incoming blessings, the abundance. It might come in slowly. So I, I always find that if you are able to practice gratitude every single day before you go to bed, just be grateful for everything in your day, right? It could be something really, really small. As long as you're practicing gratitude, you're going to see a lot of positive changes in your life. If you're able to implement positive affirmations, um, just things that will keep you in alignment and in focus here. And I've mentioned this many times before because I'm a huge believer in this is vision boards. They're so powerful. So if you're able to create one for yourself, I feel this is really going to do you some good um, long term, especially just having that vision board there so you can see like this is where I'm going. You don't have to look at it every day. It's there, right? It's just a reminder and not to obsess over it. You just put it there, release it. It's just there and it's just working. It's magic in the background and you you're highly intuitive at this time, by the way. So I want you to listen to your intuition here. Um, even heighten your senses 
to tune into kind of what the universe, what Mother Earth is trying to uh, communicate to you, where she is trying to guide you towards. This is going to come through like everything around us, right? You don't have to look for the signs. They're going to show up in your life. And it's all about being aware to actually recognize them. And this awareness is going to come in through your focus. If you have a focus on a goal, this is when you start to see everything come into alignment. You'll see the synchronicities. You'll see the signs. That's by you being open and receptive and allowing these energies to come in. Spirit guides are also um, kind of sharing with me that there are some incoming energies of people for you. This is also coming up for Capricorn. So I'm kind of getting this Capricorn energy coming through for you. Perhaps you have someone in your life that's a Capricorn um, or maybe there's a Capricorn entering your life. This could be some of you that are on the cusp, right? That's your Capricorn energy somewhere in your birth chart here even. But I feel there's this beautiful um, electrifying energy. Some of you, um, I just feel like some of you have this fire burning within you that you've just lit a fire within you and you're ready to go. You're ready to work. You're ready to do the things that you need to do in order to make this the best year ever for yourself. So I'm just feeling that, that there's this beautiful incoming abundance towards you. And this is a year of abundance, Aquarius. And we have so much energetic force available for us to actually push ourselves forward if we steer clear from distractions and things that are going to try to pull us back into that old way of living, right? So it's going to be very important for, for you to use discipline and really stand firm in the decision that you make around bettering your life. Okay. Um, and you're going to see this growth. There's so much coming towards you here. And it's all that energy, organization, structuring your life, knowing and understanding, okay, this is my ga game plan. I'm going to focus. I'm going to put my energy there. I know this is going to take some work. The work part for you is going to be releasing. I feel just being aware of, okay, this is an energy that's going to distract me. I know that I want to do this thing, but I know it's going to take away from what I'm trying to do in my life. Self-care is also going to be important for you here as well. So you want to have balance here. The balance is definitely coming in. So for example, if you're somebody that's kind of like, I worked a lot this week, I've done a lot, I've done my part, I'm going to take time for self-care. I'm going to go and enjoy things as well. You're allowed to do that. I'm not trying to tell everyone that you have to be very strict and you have to keep working. No, you want to have a fine balance there. I'm just talking about things that are going to, like social media, for example, surfing the internet just for no reason at all. And you get, you get sucked into that energy where you're gone for like two, three hours sometimes, right? That's the kind of energy I'm talking about. The energy that doesn't make you feel good. The energy that doesn't uplift you. That's what you want to be aware of and guard your energy, especially from external forces or influences. Now, the thing is, I feel that 2024 is going to be a year with a lot of shifts happening just as a whole for the world. And being aware of what's going on is fine, but not allowing yourself to get kind of sucked into that rabbit hole of that online world of the chaos that's there, right? You want to be very, very careful with this uh, because I feel that when you get sucked into that energy, you're, you're, you can, it's so, it's such a strong force. It could, it could put you in a really, um, not good place. So just be mindful of these energies, limit how much you're spending time focusing on that. Um, grounding your energy is also going to be very important. Aquarius, I feel as you're moving into uh, 2024, January is going to be a month of you really focusing in on actually sticking to your plan, right? So, and because the devil is there, right? It's going to try to tempt you to throw you off course and pull you back into that old way. And we don't want that. I feel, I really feel here for you, Aquarius, there's so much that is coming toward like abundance. There's growth. Those of you that are planning on, um, shifting things yourself like you're focusing in on your health maybe you have a gym routine there's days where you can feel like you're not feeling it right but if there's nothing wrong it's just that emotion that's kind of stopping you that's where you want to okay here emotion that's cool I get it you're there I, I feel you I'm just going to put you aside for a moment and I'm going to kind of stick to my plan here and not let you get in the way it's kind of like that. But if you're physically not feeling it, if you're actually not feeling good, it's not the case of the lazies. 
then you have to listen to your body. But I feel that you're going to make a lot of headway here this year and you're going to be in a, a, a much more um, higher frequency, higher vibration, a really good place this time next year. And spirit guides are ready. They're ready to bring everything in towards you. So visualization for you is going to be very important to understanding, okay, this is where I'm seeing myself going, believing that you're getting there. No matter what happens in your day-to-day -day life, I want you to stick to the plan. You know, every day we face challenges, right? There's always little, little things. For example, today for myself, I was having a really hard time filming. Like I'm just, I, I've done your reading already probably about six times here but something keeps happening someone will phone uh, my camera stops working it's mercury retrograde as well so i know it's mercury re retrograde but we face these little little things i don't allow myself to be affected by it i'm like okay whatever this happened i'm just going to refilm oh that happened that's okay i just kind of go with that because i always find that if I react to that energy, then it's just going to ruin my own day. So I not I try my very best not to give it a reaction. The energy that's coming in, sometimes it's the devil, sometimes it's something else. Mercury retrograde is fully at play here, delaying things, stopping things, a miscommunication. I don't react to that energy because it is so reactive. So be mindful of just kind of what's going on here, right? Um, and again, if you need an accountability uh, accountability buddy here, I would suggest that you ask somebody that they keep you on track. And if you're not able to do that, maybe your watch, right? Or maybe your uh, alarm clock, your cell phone, the alarm. This is what I do. I've been trying to do planks every day, every hour, a one minute plank every single day, um, as many times as I can. So I have my alarm set. So whenever my alarm goes off, I go and do a plank plank for one minute. I don't know, I think breaks between and doing that and having a reminder, my, my cell phone is my accountability partner right now. So is my husband. But I feel that anything that you can use right now in your life to help uh, you keep on track, right? And I feel for you here, Aquarius, January, February, and March are going to be very important for you to stick to the plan no matter what. Sometimes thro life throws us curveballs and I want you to use your intuition. I want you to really uh, allow spirit to guide you at this time, okay, especially in the month of uh, January. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a bonus card for you, the Spirit Animals Oracle deck. Now, anything that I have missed in this reading, I feel there's travel coming up. That's the other thing that I'm feeling here. And I, I wasn't sure what that was, but it's travel that's coming in. So I feel some of your traveling... Uh, 2024 for you is going to be all about travel. Not everyone, but I feel there's some trips coming up that you're not even aware of. So um, this could be to a country. Maybe you're going to plan a move and you don't even know this yet. Um, but I'm seeing some sort of movement in your life, whether it's travel or you moving to a different location or a different home, a different job. Like there's some sort of movement coming in here. I feel in the next three months here for you, you're going to feel this shift happening towards the end of January. Now, those of you that have been seeing any kind of animals or insects, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. Okay, so let's take a look here. We are getting giraffe spirit. See the big picture and the number 29 on the card. So I don't know if any of you have uh, any kind of significance around the number 29, or if you've seen a giraffe in your life. If you haven't, you're seeing one now. So see the bigger picture here. All right, now those of you looking for timing, two to nine days, two to nine weeks, or two to nine months, February and September being important months or significant months for you in 2024 okay so the number 29 here giraffe spirit i'm going to read you the oracle message and the protection message for this card today so the oracle message is giraffe stretch upward to reach the treetops and look down from a high vantage point when giraffe spirit appears it is a sign to observe from a higher view in all aspects of your life it's time to stretch your neck out and broaden your view open your eyes to what others need or are experiencing and see the big picture where you fit into. No matter how great your wisdom, knowledge, or experience, you don't, you don't want to overlook details and connections that will help you better understand yourself and your circumstances. So stretch yourself. Look beyond what catches your eye at eye level and know that not everything is as, as obvious as you might like it to be. Spirit will bestow upon you a new perspective that might make all the difference. 
Now the protection message for this card is, are you sticking your neck out too far? reaching too high instead of looking around you to see conditions on the ground. Your devotion to co-creating something new is admirable, but giraffe spirit is showing up to remind you that you have to look at the whole picture, not just those tasty leaves at the top of the tree. Perspective is necessary, necessary now, and that means checking in with what is going on around you at your feet, not just up in the air, but at your feet and all around you. Or perhaps you are ruminating over the worries of the world instead of paying attention to what you can do right now. Where you are to bring about the changes you would like to see. Align with your highest good and know that while perspective is important, transformation begins where you are. Do not get so far up in the clouds thinking about all the big problems that you lose perspective and forget to do your part, however small it may be, to reach uh, to start enacting change for transformation begins with you. All right, so this is your uh, bonus card. Embrace giraffe spirit. See the bigger picture in your life here as well. I also feel, Aquarius, I feel some of you are going to be new parents. I'm picking up on um, baby energy, however that comes into your life here. So those of you that are wanting to uh, expand your family, you're wanting to have a child, I want you to start preparing as if this child is already coming in, like you know it's coming into your life, this baby. Um, this is why a lot of parents that are pregnant start getting ready, getting a room ready for the child, preparing for its it, the child to enter the world, okay? So um, I just feel there is this powerful... Uh, new child energy here as well for some of you. So those of you that have been seeing any kind of repeating numbers, angel numbers in your life, uh, this angel number is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. You can also use this as an affirmation. So we're getting the number 20, harmonious. Look at that, you are harmonious. And that's coming in with the queen and the king of wands today. So look at that. Now, the message on this card for you is you relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. So look at that. Number 20 could be a number of significance. And sometimes spirit guides call us to embody the energy of the life path number two creating balance in our life. And that's coming through again with the King and the Queen of Wands for you today. So this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.